An Indiana aid worker is the latest victim of ISIS executioners. The parents of Peter Casey plan to speak about their son today. The terrorist group said last month that he would be the next Western prisoner to die. President Obama put out a statement using the Muslim name Kasich adopted in captivity. He said, quote, Abdul Rahman was taken from us in an act of pure evil by a terrorist group. Margaret Brennan is at the State Department. Where officials are praising Kasich and his work. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, after more than a year in captivity, ISIS released a video announcing the murder of the 26-year-old aid worker and former Army Ranger. He's a man Secretary Kerry called courageous and selfless to the core. In this latest ISIS video, a masked executioner stands over the severed head of a man he identified as Peter Kasich. This is Peter Edward Kasich, a U.S. citizen of your country. The aid worker from Indiana was captured last year while delivering emergency supplies in eastern Syria. He's the third American to be executed since ISIS began beheading Westerners this summer. But unlike previous ISIS execution videos, Kasig is not seen addressing the camera, and his killer is not in the same desolate desert location, this time announcing that he's in Dabiq, northern Syria. The apparent executioner speaks with a British accent, much like the one who appeared in past beheading videos. In the 15-minute-long video, ISIS also shows the beheading of Syrian soldiers and issues another threat to President Obama. And tomorrow, we will slaughter new soldiers. Kasig was murdered despite public pleas from his family and friends throughout the Middle East, an appeal for mercy that fell on deaf ears. On Sunday, parents Ed and Paula released a statement. We are incredibly proud of our son for living his life according to his humanitarian calling. We will work every day to keep his legacy alive as best we can. In an interview with tree. CBS News last yeah. month, I asked Kasig's parents about a letter they received from their son after he had been taken. In it, he acknowledged that he might not make it home. What did you feel when you, when you read that, Paula? I, I felt, I, I remembered how he always told me, because he knows I worry. He said, Mom, don't worry about me. No matter what happens, I will be okay because I am doing what I am called to do. I love what I'm doing. In that letter, he said, if I go down for this, I want everyone to know I went down for a good cause. What more can you ask? Now, Ed and Paula Kasig have asked supporters to help remember their son by donating to another aid group that's providing emergency medical help in Syria. Uh, Gail, as for ISIS, they're still believed to hold other hostages, including an American woman. But unlike in other videos, this time their identities were not revealed. Margaret, thank you. It's a heartbreaking story. Thank you.